Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we'll be checking out a few full scholarships in the US and we're going to start right out with this one on the screen, the Imagine Global Leader Scholarship at American University in Washington DC. So right here it says that the American University Imagine Global Leader Scholarship promotes educational access and opportunity while enhancing international diversity. So this scholarship is actually for undergraduate international students and if we scroll down they provide more information about what the scholarship covers. So it says that the AUEGL scholarship covers all billable AU expenses, full tuition, room and board. For one international student, who will need a visa, preferably an F1 or J1 student visa to study in the United States. Now, the scholarship does not cover non billable expenses such as mandatory health insurance, books, airline tickets, and other miscellaneous expenses now the scholarship is actually renewable for a total of four years of undergraduate study based on continued satisfactory academic performance and only one scholarship is available for fall 2023 and if you are not selected so if you apply and you're not selected as the 2023 AU EGR recipient and wish to continue with the application process you may be eligible for other partial merit scholarship however you will need to submit additional proof of funds beyond the initial four thousand dollars you provided so i'm going to scroll a bit down just to get some additional information about the scholarship now this section right here provides more details about like the eligibility or rather let's say ineligibility requirements so it says that you're not eligible to apply if you're a u.s citizen U.S. permanent resident or dual citizen of the U.S. and another country. You are also not eligible to apply if you have enrolled in or have begun any post-secondary studies at another university in your own country or the United States. And you are not eligible to apply if you have graduated secondary school earlier than 2021. So something to really take note of right here is that it says that AUEGLS applicants must apply regular decision for fall 2023. You should not apply early decision. Okay, so typically a lot of schools in the US for undergraduate studies they have what they call early decision, regular decision. So they're telling you now that you must apply regular decision. Emphasis on the must. Do not apply early decision. And if you scroll a bit down, they provide more information about their preferred candidates and they tell you that preference will be given to international students who have overcome various obstacles and challenges as well as those from diverse and underrepresented global and socioeconomic background, those with a minimum of 3.8 GPA equivalent out of a 4.0 or if you're in the top 10% of your graduating class for 9th through 12th grade and they also prefer candidates with a demonstrated commitment to leadership volunteerism community service and to advance the needs of people in their own country as well as other preferences that you can see right here on the screen in regards to like testing preferences enrollment preferences as well as curriculum preferences so something to definitely check out and you can see right here it says that priority consideration will be given to applicants who apply and complete the application and all necessary documents by December 15, 2022. So definitely check this out if you're interested and they provide additional information about instructions. Something to take note of here is that you do need to submit a bank statement demonstrating a minimum of $4,000. So in order to apply, you need to actually submit a bank statement demonstrating a minimum of $4,000. And if you remember earlier, we scroll back up the four thousand dollars is what the scholarship does not cover like health insurance books a light ticket so they want you to kind of demonstrate that you can cover that if the scholarship will not cover that so yeah and actually if the four thousand dollars proof is actually quite reasonable compared to a couple of other schools out there so they retreat it again right here that please note the packet must include a bank letter confirming a minimum of $4,000, not $73,000, so just $4,000. And they have more information for you right here to kind of check out. So I encourage you to check this out if you're a prospective international undergraduate student. You never can tell what could happen. So now moving on to the next scholarship.
Now this next scholarship is the Codzine Scholarship at Simmons University and right here it says that this is the most prestigious award offered at Simmons and acknowledges excellence through focus on study abroad, scholarship research and intellectual curiosity. Now this scholarship provides full tuition, room and board plus an additional $3,000 for academic pursuits such as study abroad, research support, and more. This scholarship is awarded for the duration of a four-year period of full-time undergraduate study and supersedes any previously awarded merit scholarship. Now, students applying for the Kudzin Scholarship must meet the following criteria. You need to apply as a freshman for the fall semester, Good news, Simmons is test optional, so it is your choice if you would like to submit standardized test scores with your admission application. And for those who choose to submit test scores, a 28 or higher on ACT is recommended and a 1300 or higher on the SAT is recommended. Now, they said non-native English speakers must submit TOEFL and SAT or ACT scores and your GPA must be 3.3 or higher unweighted. And they have additional curriculum requirements in regards to like your college preparation. So like you should include like an advanced level math course during or prior to your senior year of high school. And a record of taking honors, advanced placement and international baccalaureate courses as available in your high school system. So something to keep at the back of your mind if you are considering applying. Now, for the application process, it says right here, the application consists of a short answer and a formal essay in response to the prompts below, as well as resume, including activities and involvement. Students should submit their essays and resume in PDF or work document via email with the subject line closing application by December 1. Each page of the document should include the student's full name and date of birth. And it says right here, please note, it is the student's responsibility to submit a working file in the proper format, PDF or Word. So something to definitely keep at the back of your mind if you're considering applying to this scholarship because Google Docs and other forms of documents would not be accepted. Now, they have two essay prompts. One is a short answer of no more than 250 words for how you would use your additional annual award of $3,000 for probably study abroad, short-term courses, summer internship, tuition, and or research support. So, you probably pick one or two of these kind of explain, okay, this is what you would use it for, as well as a former essay of no more than 500 words which is like some people argue that leaders are born, not made, while others defend the opposite view, namely that leaders are made. So you would just write an essay in which you defend one view or the other and you need to use a specific example of a leader either from history or from your own personal experience to support your argument. So these are the two essay prompts in order to apply for this scholarship and finalists will be required to complete an interview in February. So once again, the application deadline is December 1 and you will hear back by March 1. So yep, yeah, that's it with this scholarship and um, just some requirements to take note of if you are applying as an international student. I think applying to this school is free so that's something to definitely consider. It's free to apply to Simmons University as an international student and these are the general requirements right here. So common application, official high school transcripts, they didn't say anything about transcript evaluation here, which is great. Two letters of recommendation, test score if English is not your first language, interview, and then information about scholarship opportunities right here. So there are other scholarships outside of this coding scholarship. So definitely check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description box. Now moving on, the next scholarship is Billy Graham Scholarship at Witten College. Now this scholarship is for Christian leaders, so I guess it's like a missionary type scholarship. And right here it says that we are dedicated to advancing the global Christian community by providing opportunities for different types of Christian leaders from around the world to earn advanced training to advance the ministry into which God has called them. Now let's check some of the FAQs to kind of learn more about this scholarship and then we scroll a bit down right here to 
why are the BGSP awards loan slash scholarships? And it says right here that the requirement for the scholarship recipients to serve in a ministry setting for a minimum of four years after they finish their programs at Whitton College serves as an accountability measure to ensure that the vision of the original stewards of the scholarship funds is carried out. Once the four years of service have been completed, the recipient loan will be forgiven and become a 100% scholarship. So basically, the scholarship is in form of like a loan scholarship, right? So they provide you with a 100% scholarship. However, they expect that you serve for a minimum of four years after you're done with your program at this college. And after then, it's a 100% scholarship. So there's a service commitment connected with this scholarship, like some other scholarships, just like this one is for like four years. Um, and it says right here, I am an international. Can I bring my family with me to Witten with the help of this scholarship? And it says that BJ scholarships are for the students. By they are generous, they do not cover the entire estimated budget for an international student. Students may be able to live on less than the estimate. You'll be responsible for the additional cost of bringing your family. So it covers only for you and not your family. And then they do have other information right here. It says that if you're an international student, please allow one year for application and admission into the waiting college graduate school and contact the BJ scholarship office this summer before the December 1 application deadline. So one of the reasons I'm sharing this scholarship early on is so that you can prepare it. So if you think this is something that you might be interested in, you do need to contact the BJ scholarship office early on. And it says right here, your scholarship application materials will not be reviewed by the selection committee until you have been admitted into the graduate school. So you must be accepted into the graduate school in order to be considered for any of the scholarship award although the graduate school admission and bg scholarships are two separate process and just more information right here and if we check out this web page about the scholarship categories so for international students there are two categories you are eligible to apply for you can see international students non-us and non-canadian can apply for the international christian leader category which will cover your tuition health insurance and give you a stipend or you could apply for the international missionary one which will cover tuition health insurance and a stipend both deadlines the same by one this other section is for us and canadian residents so definitely check it out if this is something you're interested in i'll put a link in the description box now this last scholarship is quite popular it's the knight nsc scholars at stanford university and this page provides more information about the admission process and right here, this is the deadline for the application. So application will open July 1st. So if you intend to apply for this, definitely keep this at the back of your mind. And the deadline is October 12th. So October is like right around the corner because this year has been moving quite first. So definitely take note of this if you intend to apply for the scholarship. And if you intend to apply, here are just some general applications and eligibility so what's the baseline eligibility it says right here night and essay scholars has no restrictions based on age college or university field of study or career aspiration we encourage citizens and residents of all countries to apply we do not require applicants to seek endorsements from colleges and universities or other institutions so there are two baseline eligibility requirements one is admission to Stanford. So in addition to applying for this scholarship, you must apply to and be accepted by and enroll in a full-time Stanford graduate degree program. And another is undergraduate degree date. So you must have earned in January 2016 or later a U.S. bachelor's degree or its equivalent from a college or university of recognized standing. So if you are applying to join the court in 2023, which is next year, you you must have earned your first bachelor's degree by January 2016 or later. So those are the two main criteria. And there are other frequently asked questions on this page, and I'll put the link in the description box for you to check out. And if we scroll down for the criteria, it says right here. They seek visionary thinkers who are curious, open-minded, analytical, and eager for like a cross-cultural 
perspective so basically independence of thought purposeful leadership civic mindset so these are like the three main values they seek in candidates and for date and deadline we kind of touched on that earlier october 12 2022 and on this page there's more information about the application so it says that you do need to submit to applications and then resume transcripts and test scores recommendation letters short answers and essays so you can definitely check this out if you're interested i'll put the link in the description box for you to kind of take a look at this requirement in details to see what is required what is not required of you and go from there so yep with that we've come to the end of this video for today and if you found it helpful definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're watching without subscribing and have a great weekend ahead bye